Yeah, well, baseball season, a very exciting time of year oh, for yeah. a lot of people. And the good news is, Art, it's here. Yeah, baseball season here, a great time to talk baseball and take a stroll down memory lane with one of the greats, former Yankee Bill Moose Scourin. He got his name, by the way, after his grandfather gave him a haircut that made him look like Mussolini. His family shortened it to Moose, and it stuck. Well, Moose played in eight World Series games. I caught up with him and found that his memories as a Yankee are still vivid and his love for baseball still immense. Though he played for other teams during his 14-year career, Bill the Moose Scourin's glory years were spent in pinstripes as a New York Yankee. In the nine years Scourin was with the team, the Yanks won seven AL pennants and five World Series championships. I'm one of 15 guys that hit a grand slam home run in a World Series in 1958. For Scourin, 1961 stands out as the banner year when he and two other Yankee greats hit a record number of home runs. The 61 Yankee team, I would say, was the greatest team I played with. Mantle, Maris, and Moose. Uh -huh, man, we oh, hit 143 ends. home runs, which is still a record today. Wow, and Roger, you didn't play with steroids. No, we didn't have none of that <laughs> stuff at that time. We had a great ball club. To me, that was the best team I ever played with. I still wear my Yankees 1961 Look at World that, Series dude. ring. I wish I was playing today. I'd be a multimillionaire, you know? What, Three were you, years. what were you getting paid in those days? Well, my rookie year, I got 6000 Today, it's 400000 The most I made with the Yankees, I made thirty-seven grand. I was there nine years. I got traded from the Yankees to the Dodgers. I made forty-eight. That's the most money I ever made. I told my mom she should have held out. I'd have been a multi millionaire today. <laughs> Timing's everything, right? I know. Money aside, Scourin's run with the Yankees was iconic and indelible. Now, I know Joe D at one time, Joe DiMaggio, he thanked God for being a Yankee. What do you say about being a Yankee? It was the greatest thrill I had in my whole crew. I could, I was there nine years, we won seven pennants. How can I say something wrong? Such memories. Yes, And speaking of memories, you know, I mean, you were really cute. You're cute now, but <laughs> I don't know look about at you that. back then. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Wow, bad. were you a lady killer? No. Oh, come on, this big time Janet. baseball star and no. those looks? No, no. Today, baseball is still at the center of Bill the Moose Scourin's life. He runs a baseball fantasy camp, started years ago by Mickey Mantle. When Mantle died, Scourin and the late Hank Bauer took it over. To this day, baseball fans from all over come to live out their fantasy of rubbing elbows with their heroes in pinstripes on the field of dreams. Yogi comes, Don Larson's there. We have the 61 Yankee infield, Kubek, Richardson, Boyer, and myself. We have Bucky Dent, Stairway, so we have a good amount of celebrities. Fans get running tips from speedsters like Mickey Rivers and pitching tips from hurlers like Ron Guidry. He can He's, still pitch. He certainly can. The baseball fan Patrick Netter is still on cloud nine after playing at last year's fantasy camp. I listened every day to Moose and to Bobby Richardson and Tony Kubek and Boyer and to be in the locker room around them. Literally the locker next to me was Don Larson. So to get to hang with these guys and play a double header every day and I mean it's, it's, an, it is, it's a dream come true and then you hang out with these guys and you hear stories from Moose and Hank and, and Kubek and all these guys. Anybody who a, is a, a baseball fan I think would, would have the same kind of a uh, time. It, it's, it really is a fantasy come true. Yeah, it really is a dream come true, I would imagine, for a lot of you baseball come fans. And try it out with I us. I would like that. Right, you're you're I can see Janet Zapala. <laughs> this is Here's a windup and the pitch. And it's out of here. <laughs> I love it. If you're a baseball fan or you know someone who is, if you've always wanted to play with some of baseball's all-time greats, then the Heroes in Pinstripes Fantasy Baseball Camp could be a fantasy come true. Here's the Heroes in Pinstripes website, heroesinpinstripes.com. You can get all the information you need to find out more about this year's baseball fantasy camp to be held in Jupiter, Florida. And the dates are October 28th through November 4th of this year. I can't wait.
I'm going to go. Yeah, it's a big deal. And the moose, man, he's, you know, he's still uh, doing his thing. Isn't huh? he terrific? He loves it. He's out there every year at this camp. He gives pointers, does a lot of partying from what <laughs> I hear. <laughs> and, you well, know, he came from a party era. I mean, yes, come on, the, the reputation from Mickey and the guys, you know, was notorious yeah, they, for partying. They played hard, and they played hard. They played hard. <laughs> yeah. That 61 Yankees team is regarded as probably one of the one best of the teams best ever. One of the best of all time, you know? yeah. And you know. you know what? If you go to this fantasy camp, you get uh, hotel accommodations, food, collectibles, uniforms, pointers from the pros, uh, doubleheaders every day, and then a big game that culminates on that last Saturday between the pros and the fans. Ah, now, now, are you going to take uh, Brad? Bradley? You know, Bradley is a huge baseball fan. If he can get out of school, he will be first in line, no doubt. As a matter of fact, we met Derek Jeter a few years back when Brad was about nine years old. He's now a teenager. Can I tell you the excitement there? Uh, at Brad. Brad's, <laughs> Brad's the good-looking one on the, uh, in the vest. <laughs> Let me tell you what a great guy Derek Jeter is. We were at a hotel restaurant, and he was busy doing things, and my son went up to him, and all he had to say was, I, I really admire you. He said, let me take a picture with you, son, and sit down, and let's do it. I mean, yeah. he's just so nice and yeah. humble, and it was yeah. a real pleasure. That's good stuff. Him. I, I got to tell you, you know, there's just something about baseball that we all love, and it's the time of year, yes. and it's the boys yes. of summer.